All right, time to finish off the show with rap reactions. A lot of topics, a little bit of time. Take it away, Drink. Let's roll, baby. Four-time All-Star forward Paul Millsap has signed a free agent deal with the Brooklyn Nets. What kind of impact do you see him having, Jay? Uh, he'll have somewhat of an impact. I mean, you, you never can have too many uh, all-star all -star selections, you know, joining your team. He's obviously at an advanced stage, 36. I mean, I look at him as a guy maybe playing 15, 20 minutes a game now. Um, still can come, step out and shoot a three. He's still got a diversified offensive game, veteran rebound. But probably, uh, you know, it's – there's a, there's a lot of old dudes. You know, you talked about the Lakers, you know, with the AARP club. It looked like the Nets maybe trying to catch up with them. Right. More Nets news is Brooklyn has traded center DeAndre Jordan in four future second round picks and more than $5 million to the Detroit Pistons in exchange for Jaleel Okafor and a player to be named later because we just can't say the dude's name. Uh, Drink, what do you make of this move? Uh, DeAndre Jordan must uh, got the dirty photos. Um, you know, I, I talk about the dirty photos. Listen, I don't know how this dude, first of all, got signed to Brooklyn from the start. Got traded to Brooklyn, just sat on the bench, rode a gravy train. And now he's getting traded to the Pistons, which pretty much essentially trading him to the Lakers. Well, he's going to sign with the Lakers for $2.6 million for one year. So this guy's going to go in the offseason. He's going to go from the Nets, which people consider the favorite, and then to the Lakers, which people consider the favorite in the West. So you went from the overall favorite to the favorite in the West. And you ain't done nothing in, since you was a Clipper. I mean, that, that's, man, that's, he got the dirty pictures. Washington Nationals Vice President Bob Boone has resigned from the organization rather than comply with the COVID-19 vaccine mandate for all non-uniform employees. Your thoughts? Well, it almost seems similar to, uh, I believe it was Rick Spielman of the Minnesota Vikings. You know, these older guys that have been around for a long time that, you know, you 73, you know, you've been working in, uh, you know, in front office for likely years, you know, you probably you probably can afford to go ahead and stop working. But I'm gonna tell you, rest assured, there's plenty of other other people that likely feel this way, but they just, you know, don't have the financial staying to go ahead and like, okay, well, you know, I, I just gonna have to go ahead and comply with the, the, the mandates and all the rest because like, I, I need a job, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's kind of how I see that. The Seahawks have been busy lately with a trade for cornerback Sidney Jones from the Jaguars. And they've also traded Akilo Witherspoon to the Steelers, and they've signed former Baylor basketball standout and national champion Mark um, Mark Vital to their practice squad. Which of those moves was the most significant? Did, did you say the Seahawks signed an offensive lineman? Uh, they, no. They, All right, I, I'm going with none of them. Then I'm going with none of them. Then <laughs> the Memphis Grizzlies announced Wednesday that they will retire the jersey of Zach Randolph and Tony Allen during the upcoming season. Do you think that jersey should be retired? Oh man, I think we're we're stretching it here, guys. This is uh <laughs> this is a case of like the Grizzlies they never retired a jersey. They obviously they haven't been around for you know a long time, and you know it's not like they sit out here with the Lakers and they got a story history. This is just somebody in the front office is just looking for a promotion or something and just saying like, oh man, let's uh let's retire some jerseys this year and like really like tony allen the, the tony allen that probably ain't even averaged double digits for his career you know i mean maybe you can talk me into the zach randolph one and obviously i think both of them had they had a profound impact in the grit and grind era for memphis but i i, I think i think we're stretching it a little bit when we talk about retiring jerseys speaking of memphis the grizzlies have traded forward Juancho Hernan gomez to the boston celtics in exchange for guards chris dunn and carson edwards uh you care to comment on who won that trade who is Carson Edwards? I'm I'm gonna go with um. That's, I'm a, that's I'm gonna go with uh. That, that, I don't know uh, if you remember. That's the dude that played for Purdue and play and dropped like forty against Virginia, the one they won the national title. I don't know if you remember that. Oh shoot! It, clearly, I don't. I gotta stay off the booze. <laughs> um, like uh, I, I I guess I gotta go with a Herman Gomez. I mean, he the player that had done the most out of the three as far as NBA go. Um, I mean, neither one. Ne None of these three guys have just made this profound impact. Chris Dunn was supposed to be a guy, but he fell on on the floor face first, and he ain't really done much since. Um, so I, I don't know, but I mean, I'm gonna go with Herman Goldman. So yeah, yeah, Boston won this one, as far as I'm concerned. More baseball COVID news as the Chicago Cubs president of baseball operation Jed Hoyer and manager David Ross have both test, tested positive. They're quarantining and have been vaccinated. What are your thoughts on this? My thoughts are uh, 
lot of people testing positive that uh, are fully vaccinated. That's it. The only free agent in the NFL Network's top 100 has finally found a home as veteran linebacker K.J. Wright has signed a one-year deal with the Las Vegas Raiders. Big deal, little deal, no deal. It's no deal. No, And, and no disrespect to K.J. Wright, but you're going to sign with the Las Vegas Raiders. That's why it's a no deal. Like, if you went stay with Seattle or something, then I'd be like, hey, big deal, yeah. Because your talent is, I, first of all, just like Jay said, we didn't know how you was a free agent. That's first and foremost. Secondly, no, not only that, they didn't hit you with the Cam Newton treatment. They're just going to let you go get signed by anybody. So I'm going to say no deal because I, I just don't know what the Raiders got going on over there on the defense side of the ball. Coach quarterback Carson Wentz was activated from the COVID-19 list on Thursday and said he has not shut the door on getting the shot. He also described his thought process on the, on the vaccine as fluent. What does that mean to you, Jay? That's a nice way of saying he don't want to take it. He just don't want to admit it. That's what I see of all that. Tomorrow night, it's UFC Vegas 36, Brunson versus Till on ESPN and ESPN Plus at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. The main event is a middleweight fight between the number five ranked contender, Derek Brunson, and the number seven ranked contender, Darren Till. Drink, who you got? I'm going to take Brunson, man. Brunson, been a, he been a solid killer out here, man. He kind of, he was up there, then he kind of fell off. Then This is second, like, win. He's been looking awesome lately. And Darren Till, for what it's worth, man, he, he's not, I'm not trying to say he's a scrub, Rudy Poot, or anything of that, that nature. It's, I, I just wonder if Darren Till wants it anymore. Like, I, I kind of started to think his, 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 head, his head is not all the way into the, in the UFC game as of late. So, I'm going to take Brunson. Um, and I'm going to take Brunson by a unanimous decision. All right. Well, that concludes tonight's episode of Drink of Wisdom. As always, like, listen, share, subscribe. We appreciate it all. And we will see you next week in season three. I'm Jay Wise. And I'm Nathan Drinker. And remember, make tomorrow better than today and make today better than yesterday. And you know what we going to do. Roll Tide, ladies and gentlemen. It's a drink of wisdom.